What is going on everyone? It's your boy Sinister Cobra coming back with another Halo video. Today we are talking about some brand new Halo Infinite news that just dropped earlier today on the 28th. This is going to be a series of monthly Halo Infinite news bites that 343 are doing. They will be dropping around the end of the month. I believe they specifically said the last Thursday of the month, somewhere around that time frame. They also mentioned do not expect like super high, high levels of information like trailers or, you know, don't expect to get screenshots every time. But yeah, this one is somewhat of a small update. I went ahead and read it that way you guys wouldn't have to. So let's go ahead and jump in. So the meat and potatoes of this blog post of this article that 343 posted is an interview with the Sandbox team. Now you might be asking, what's the Sandbox team? Well, luckily for us, they also thought ahead and answered this question within this interview. Basically, the Sandbox team is in charge of all the toys that the player gets to play with as they put it in in the blog and what do they mean by toys well this includes things like jump mechanics running mechanics uh, health values shield recharge times and things of that nature so essentially the sandbox team just you know they have their hands in just about everything but yeah most of this article goes into detail about their design philosophies and you know what their mindset is when they're creating these assets for the games if you guys want to read the interview in depth, as always, the article will be in the description down below. But yeah, jumping further into this interview, they actually talk about the new bullpup shotgun. In previous iterations of Halo, the shotgun was really somewhat of a slow-paced weapon, primarily used for close-quarter combat action. The main changes between the legacy shotguns and this new bullpup shotgun is that this shotgun will be fast firing and fast reloading, but it will also be less powerful than previous shotguns. So it's going to be interesting to see how this plays in game. I can definitely see players using this shotgun from a further distance as they can fire it a lot quicker. Obviously as time goes on they will be tuning the game and whatnot so if it does happen to be overpowered expect it to get a nerf but yeah overall it'll be interesting to see how this works in game like i said i think players will be using it from a greater distance than players have used the previous shotguns before also i think it might depend on the clip size too if it's about the same clip size or um you get the same amount of shotgun shells in, in this one as you did in previous halos then I can definitely see people taking liberties with this gun. So in this article, they also teased a couple of things that we have not seen yet. They teased a returning Halo vehicle. The exact quote from the article is, This vehicle isn't totally brand new, but it has received a fresh coat of paint while awaiting its triumphant return to Halo. Now, of course, we all know the Brutes, the Banished are in this game, and the Brutes are also returning with the Banished. So my mind immediately jumped to either the prowler or the brute chopper only makes the most sense let me know what you guys think is going to be returning that's the only hint we got on the returning vehicle but again like i said because the brutes have such a prominent role in halo infinite i think it's going to be one of those two brute vehicles another vehicle was also teased this one is brand new they said about it this vehicle will sit nicely between the warthog and the scorpion in terms of power level so it should ignite some new discussion on what vehicle to take to a mission. Now that is a pretty broad statement. Um, I can't imagine what type of vehicle will be in between the Warthog and the Scorpion tank in terms of power level. Maybe it's a flying vehicle, I don't know. But I am hoping that the Wasp from Halo 5 makes a return. I really enjoyed that vehicle. That's one of the many new additions that I welcomed into the Halo sandbox. But anyone's guess is as good as mine on this one. Like I said, this description they gave is super broad, so it can be absolutely anything. But finally, they teased a new piece of equipment that we haven't seen. They described this as a physics-based equipment, has tons of interactions, 
across our sandbox and will leave you laughing or yelling did you see that again that is somewhat of a broad statement but my mind immediately goes to some sort of like portable man cannon maybe it will be some sort of upgraded version of the grav lift but something in terms of that like grav lift man cannon realm is what my mind is thinking when i read physics based equipment again let me know down in the comment section below what you guys think it could possibly be but one final thing to note about this uh equipment stuff they did give us a small detail on multiplayer they said equipment is earned via combat and or scavenging the play space which brings a level of fairness and competition to the experience so the thing to highlight here is equipment is earned via combat not sure if anyone else thought this but i immediately thought of ordnance drops from halo 4 when i read that part of the sentence so it will be interesting to see if that's the case. Halo 4 was criticized for being a lot like Call of Duty and the ordnance drops were seen somewhat as like uh, score streaks or kill streaks or whatever. So it will definitely be interesting to see what they mean by earned via combat. But yeah, that's everything in terms of the interview portion of the blog. They did include a bunch of screenshots in this. Of course, like always, these are work in progress. So they included a bunch of new weapon shots. Here we have the battle rifle. It looks super clean, looks almost like the Halo 2, Halo 3 battle rifle. I really enjoy this design. I was not a huge fan of the Halo 5 design. It looked all right, but I mean, we already had like, I don't know what, like a decade plus running around with this design. So I am glad this design is gonna be the default design for the the Halo Infinite Battle Rifle. Next we have the Needler. The Needler for the most part has had a similar design across all the Halo so not surprised that it looks the way it does in Halo Infinite. There might be some small details here and there that others might pick up from looking at this but you know to the naked eye to uh, someone that doesn't look too close into the weapon details this looks pretty similar to previous designs so glad nothing is changing in that aspect but one thing i would like to see a return in a future halo game is the needler rifle so maybe we can get that as dlc or something i don't know maybe it's already going to be included in halo infinite fingers crossed again we have the bullpup shotgun here we seen this in game at the demo last year but here we have a clearer and closer look at it not much to say about this design hopefully the og classic shotgun returns at some point I'm not holding my breath on that as they seem pretty adamant of having that not be in game and having it replaced with this new shotgun but you never know maybe like i said with the needler rifle later down the road could be dlc we have a closer look at the commando rifle we already saw a similar render before with the monster energy drink promotion not much else to say about the commando rifle we've seen it plenty of times already same thing with the assault rifle we've seen it plenty of times already again it was also included in the monster energy drink promotion so we saw it in that aspect with the monster energy drink skin uh, one thing about this design though is that it does look a lot like the reach assault rifle at least it does to me but other than that not much else to talk about here nothing that we haven't seen already last and not least for the weapons we finally have confirmation that this weapon is the hydra i believe last time we saw this weapon was with the action figures and i don't think the packaging gave the name away so yeah we have confirmation that this is the hydra it looks fairly different from the halo 5 hydra honestly i think this design is kind of boring and bland i think the halo 5 hydra looked way better was a lot more unique looking i'm a little disappointed with the design on this one but i mean I never really used the Hydra much to begin with. I used the, the variants a lot in Warzone in Halo 5, but in standard multiplayer, I didn't use the Hydra a lot. I don't think a lot of maps had the Hydra as a uh, power weapon on the map. So, And as far as screenshots go, we also get two screenshots of equipment in this one. 
First we have a look at what seems to be concept art for the grappling hook. So again, this is going to be a forearm attachment. I wonder if uh, there will be some sort of special melee animation perhaps when you have the grappling hook equipped. That would be interesting to see. Of course, a new addition to Halo Infinite. I cannot wait to try it out. People actually have modded a grappling hook into older Halo games. So the hype for this thing is, I would say it's pretty, it's pretty high up there. And last but not least, we have a screenshot of the shield. I get a mix of a uh, Forerunner and UNSC looks with this concept art. It's pretty cool to see this in concept art format. Can't wait to see it in game. Try out these new equipments that they have going on here. But yeah, that's going to do it for this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, remember to leave a like. Subscribe if you're not already subscribed. And leave me a comment with what you think of these new screenshots that they put out. And also, let me know what you guys think those new vehicles could be. Real quick before I end this video, just want to let you guys know that I went ahead and started my own Discord server. Primarily, I'm going to use this to have all my content creating stuff neatly packaged in one area. Link for that will be in the description below. But yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one.